Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. Washington former President Barack Obama didn't endorse Kamala Harris, saying Democrats would pick an unnamed outstanding nominee in his first statement on President Biden, stepping aside from the party's ticket. Obama, 62, was joined by former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, D. Califf, in not immediately backing the 59-year-old vice president following reports last week that both favored an open process to replace Biden. We will be navigating uncharted waters in the days ahead, Obama said. But I have extraordinary confidence that the leaders of our party will be able to create a process from which an outstanding nominee emerges. Some Democrats fear that Harris could further diminish the party's chances against former President Donald Trump, 78, in the November 5 election. I believe that Joe Biden's vision of a generous, prosperous, and united America that provides opportunity for everyone will be on full display at the Democratic Convention in August, Obama said. And I expect that every single one of us are prepared to carry that message of hope and progress forward into November and beyond. America's first black president added. For now, Michelle and I just want to express our love and gratitude to Joe and Jill for leading us so ably and courageously during these perilous times, and for their commitment to the ideals of freedom and equality that this country was founded on. Obama remains one of the most respected leaders among Democrats, and his lack of an endorsement of Harris could damage her candidacy and implicitly encourage new candidates to emerge. Biden dropped out after Obama and other top Democrats, including Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, D. New York, and Pelosi, privately expressed concerns following Biden's dismal June 27 debate performance that the sitting president would lead down ballot Democrats to a wipeout defeat. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, a possible presidential contender, was among those who did not immediately back Harris, tweeting instead that I will work every day to ensure that Trump does not win in November. In an indication congressional Democrats could break ranks and derail a quick consensus around Harris, Senator Richard Blumenthal, D. Con, told Politico on Sunday that he prefers an open, responsive Democratic process to pick Biden's replacement. Senator Peter Welch, DVT, told CBS he also favors a truncated process to replace Biden. Pelosi, the first woman to hold the country's third most powerful post, notably did not endorse Harris in her initial statement on Biden's decision, potentially giving cover to dissenters. With love and gratitude to President Biden for always believing in the promise of America and giving people the opportunity to reach their fulfillment. God blessed America with Joe Biden's greatness and goodness, Pelosi said. Harris would be the first female president, the second of African ancestry and the first of South Asian descent. Her mother immigrated to the United States from India and her father from Jamaica. The beef's various demographic firsts are widely seen as a hindrance to any plan to dump her from the ticket, but Obama and Pelosi choosing not to endorse her could mute claims of sexism and racism. Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, D. New York, a leader among left-wing Democrats, said in a TikTok video ahead of Biden's decision that mutineers calling on the president to stand aside also wanted to drop Harris. I'm gonna say what a lot of these folks aren't saying, if you think that there is consensus among the people who want Joe Biden to leave, that they will support Vice President Harris, you would be mistaken, Ocasio-Cortez said. I'm going to be honest for them. I'm in these rooms a lot of them are not just interested in removing the president, they are interested in removing the whole ticket. Harris said in her own statement that she would work to unite Democrats, ahead of a planned virtual vote on the party's ticket in early August, ahead of the August 19-22 Democratic Convention in Chicago. The unusual virtual vote is being held to meet an August 7 Ohio ballot access deadline, but Democrats could still choose a different candidate on the floor of the convention, if a revolt mounts among its 4,521 delegates. Democrats fear that Harris might fare even worse against Trump due to awkward public appearances, low approval ratings, and her widely criticized performance on items within her portfolio, including an assignment by Biden to reduce illegal immigration, which instead surged to new record highs. She currently has a 38.1% favorability rating, according to the real Politics average of recent polls, trailing Biden's 39.1% and Trump's 42.8%. Democratic sources have told The Post they're concerned about ridicule over her habit of cackling in public and her seeming reluctance to tackle tough jobs, such as her role as Biden's so-called borders are. We are so f a senior congressional Democratic source told The Post on Friday about a possible Harris candidacy. Apparently the borders are who lets 10 million illegals in is going to win this election for us. Absolutely ridiculous. She should join Biden as he exits stage left. 